we all know what it is. It's the Savvy Minerals Premium Starter Kit. This one is in warm too because that's my favorite shade. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about it while I put some on my face. Um, yes! Just wait for a couple more people to come on. And look, at this time of night, some girls are getting ready to go out. That's just the way it is. And it's not my life anymore. This is about as close as I get to going out. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, we've got some people. Hi. So my name is Danielle and I'm from Simple Botanical. So I'm on Kin's team. That's why we're here. And I do lots of videos on my Facebook page, um, Instagram stories and things like that. Hi, Sharon. And I'm just going to do a quick video using Savvy. Now, Dion's going to be going into it in much more detail tomorrow. Um, so be sure to check out her video. And, you know as well as everyone else's. This weekend has been kind of amazing. So many tips blowing my mind. Now, I'm just like unpacking the kit without showing you. Take this beautiful sleeve off. Isn't it beautiful? Um, you do know that kits are 10% off, right? Including this one. And you could get all your old nasty uh, makeup replaced for like just a little over 200 bucks 10 percent off guys even if you've already got a premium starter kit you still need to get your savvy mineral makeup and if you're worrying about color matching honestly don't don't worry if you're cool or warm because they're so bloody similar it's not funny and it's not worth the stress um, i was stressed about it so i totally understand but honestly when you see um, both colors against each other there's one's a little bit pink and one's a little bit yellow and like most people's skins we're all a mix of both so don't don't fret about it but if you want to know more i have done a color color matching video i'll actually post it um into the event page or if you want it quick smart you can check it out um on my page which is simple botanicals on facebook but don't go yet because you're here and we're drinking wine and putting makeup on. Okay, so I haven't had any makeup on my face at all today because I knew I was going to be doing this video tonight, which is kind of a bit tipsy top. I had one sip of wine. One sip. Okay, let's get started before things get crazy. Inside this beautiful kit, and I am going to apologize because the camera doesn't like switching from black to white. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then secret compartments. Young Living loves them. Okay. Your eyeshadows and your lavender oil. Now, I never keep them in the box. I literally shove it all back in the box so I can show you guys on camera. And then I pull it all out again because you're not meant to keep this stuff in the box to look pretty to sell it. You're meant to wear it. You're meant to use it. And then go by recommendation. Tell people, show people, get the things out of the box and use them. All right. Now, my skin is a little sensitive. And I do find the mineral spray that's included in your kit. This is what helps your makeup glide onto your skin and set in. Um, I do find it a little bit strong. It's because it's got awesome oils in it. And my face is still detoxing from years of using not so great for me makeup. And I am going to have a little reaction. So for the time being, while I build up, I can dilute this. Um, I could dilute this three or five times easily. Um, I've got a little bit of lavender oil, which comes in this savvy kit. A little five mil one, they're so cute and tiny. Um... I put a couple of drops into some water with some witch hazel and now I have my own spray, okay? But this one's full of extra, extra goodies, which is good for your skin. So if you don't have a problem with it, awesome. But if you sprayed it on and gone, oh, that feels a little tingly, just take a step back, 
realize that your skin is detoxing and put a little lavender oil in a little spray bottle with some witch hazel. Okay, I've already prepped my skin. I exfoliated. You really need to exfoliate with um, mineral makeup. You need to be on top of your skincare routine. So otherwise you, it can sit on top and feel a bit cakey. You want it to feel like it's one with the skin. One with the skin. Now, um, I have exfoliated and um, I've also used my facial oil. Young Living has heaps of products. Use one of those, whatever you like, whatever suits you. Actually, maybe go back to Dion's video from today where she talks all about skincare. That's another video you can watch. I love this weekend. All right, foundation. My skin is primed. And by prime, I mean it has absolutely nothing on it except it's exfoliated and moisturized. Okay, then. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Kylie. Thanks for joining me, guys, and leaving comments. I tried to put some music on. I really wanted to put some Missy Elliott or something, you know, some R&B vibes, but unfortunately my laptop was like no you can't do so many things all at once so tell okay club songs what's your favorite getting ready song what's your favorite getting ready song i'll wait and see what your answers are because i have many many Anything by a fat man scoop is usually a good bet for me or Missy Elliott. All right. While you guys are telling me your awesome clubbing tracks. Hey, look, it could be ABBA. You could be the major dancing queen. If that's you, tell me what your favorite clubbing song is. What's your, what's your hype song? What gets you ready for a girl's night out or oh, pink? So awesome, Kylie. Yes, I've just realized I've got something in my teeth. There we go. All right, so <laughs> back to what I'm actually meant to be talking about. You spray, that's it. I'm gonna wipe that on my hand because I just realized I used the mineral one and my skin's not ready for it yet. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do <laughs> is use mine, which has got the lavender in it. Now I've tipped the foundation, which is warm to into my lid. And I'm just going to use that like a little palette. It stops cross contamination with the whole product batch. There we go. So I've, it's easily stuck to the brush. I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Any major excess, which is going to clump on your skin. You can use it. There we go. Okay. Now I've got this super bright light and I hope you can see all this. You do not have to be careful with this stuff. Can you see that fine line? It's just like adding a filter over your skin. It is not high coverage stuff in the first sweep. Look at that. Doing the crazy evil eyebrow thing again. <laughs> Look, I can't hear you guys and I can't talk to you, so I'm basically talking to myself. And I told Kim this was gonna be like a five minute face, but let's be real, I'm gonna take way longer than that. I'm putting my face on. You want to go into the hairline. It'll easily come off your hair, but if you don't put it where it needs to go, it's just going to look patchy and weird. Oh, there you go. Do you see what's happening? So I'm obviously doing half my face for a reason. Can you tell the softness? 
I know, Natalie, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I know you have to do this all your, yourself all the time. Why do you want to watch someone put on their makeup right before they go to bed? Well, it's because I want to share with you guys because I noticed that there's a lot of fear around using mineral makeup. I had it too. I experienced it as well, but really unnecessary. The trick is to prepare your skin. It doesn't even feel, hold on, let's get real. Sorry if that grosses someone out, but my microphone is busted on my phone, so it's hard to do videos and I need the earpiece in. But do you see that? Is it just me? Do you know what I've been obsessed with lately? ABBA. I've been playing the new soundtrack over and over and over and again. Anyone else watched it? I need Jeremy here. Jeremy could put on some sick tunes while I'm doing this. <laughs> I need my own personal DJ. that you do not have to be technical you just have to rub it all over your face I'm just using the brush the foundation brush that comes in the savvy kit people watching this tomorrow morning are gonna be like what was that girl doing Now it might sound like I'm using a lot of product. I'm really not. It comes out these very, very small, tiny holes. I've done a lot of videos. There is so still so much product in here. It's gonna last me ages. Okay, what parts haven't I done? There we go. A toddler could do this. I'm pretty sure if you gave a toddler a makeup brush, this is exactly what they'd do with it. Okay, so I have a base. Now, I have a hormone pimple that just won't quit. I've got some hormone patch here. Another one here. Now, I could... What have I got? What have I got on hand? Oh, oh. Okay, I could grab a little bit more lotion. Yeah, baby cream. Kylie, at least you wake up ready for the day. Oh my God. Okay, don't ever sleep in makeup. Even if it's mineral and it's good for you, let your skin breathe and don't make your pillow disgusting. Because <laughs> it'll just all transfer off. So all I'm doing is I've put a tiny, tiny amount and I'm just gonna, do you know what I'm doing when I'm doing this? Do you understand what I'm doing? It is adding stickiness, tackiness. It's good for your skin. It's not going to clog your pores, all right? But what it's going to do, so I'm going to tap and put a little extra powder, just a little bit. Oh, if I can aim. Hello. I'm not swiping, I'm just dabbing. Little dabs. Hello. 
eyes are a little bit harder because there are more creases. And let's face it, it's nine o'clock and I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I bet your eye look beautiful right now. Look at that one eye open. So all I did was add a little tiny bit of lotion. Don't go globbing it on your face. And you'll get that extra. Look at that. This eye looks smaller already. Okay. I need to speed up this video. I'm taking way too long. <laughs> All right, so that's enough for foundation. Pretty clear. Obviously, go down into your neck. No, don't be, don't be silly. Do it properly. But it's nighttime and I want to go to bed. So that's an extra way to get a little bit more coverage on any spots or dark patches. Um, and women, we tend to get hormone patches. It's a part of the territory. Now... We've got the blush, and this one is, oh, I can't remember what it's called. I do believe you're blushing. I do believe I'm blushing. I can't remember. It's this one that comes in the warm kit. <laughs> oh, look, I am not a professional makeup artist, but I do know how to put makeup on my face properly. I do know how to... Um, get blush out of a container yeah. again you're tapping it into the lid a light mist you do not want to be heavy handed with this stuff it is potent I've got there's like literally nothing in here but it will smooth over beautifully okay already it's just a light I don't like much blush at all you know if blush is your thing and you use it as a way of contouring go nuts but for me personally I just like to look a little flush without looking like a hot flush <laughs> we don't want a sweaty mess we just want a rosy glow can you see the difference on camera I am nervous about it being nighttime filming. Whether the colour, because I like my makeup quite subtle. Oh, I have four people watching. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, if you're nervous about putting blush on, because you've seen teenagers do one like this at the at the shops, and you're like, oh god, I could never wear blush because they're wearing it all crazy. Kids are stupid and pay too much attention to Instagram. <laughs> All you need to do, you've got zones in your face, forehead, eye and nose, cheek, jaw, chins, <laughs> right? So these are the lines that you pay attention to. They just go down on an angle. Keep your blush here. And chins are all under here. Get it? So it's just a soft sweep. And you want to take it all the way up because if you stop it here, you're just going to look a bit like a clown. So just take it up into your hair. Your hair's not going to care. It's not going to stay there. You can brush it out. It's not a big deal. And that's my tips on blush. Okay, easy. Now, um, there are bronzers and things, but not in the Savvy kit. Um, so we're going to skip all that. No more contouring. Sorry, Kim. Oh, Kim Kardashian, who is the queen of contouring. <laughs> all right. Now we've got the three eyeshadows. And I'm still getting used to using um, loose mineral eyeshadow. Um, 
I'm I've just grown up with pressed powder uh, palettes. Right. Which brush do I want? Okay. So we're going to go with the. Right. They don't they don't say the names. They tell you colors, which is stupid. The labeling on this stuff drives me crazy. But as you can see, there is a nude one. There is a dark one and there is one that is shimmering, right? So you get a nude matte one, a dark matte one, and a shimmery one. I'm starting with the matte, and all you're gonna do is tap a little bit into the lid, spray the brush, get it prepped and ready. If it's too damp, wipe it on the back of your hand. You're gonna dab it into the pot, Tap off any excess because it will fall into your eyelashes otherwise. And I'm going to use this mirror here. So you just pat. I've used a big brush. I'm sure Young Living has something similar. I haven't got my brush kit yet because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> but I make do with what I've got. And you could use your finger for this stuff. It's literally child's play. So this, I put all over my lid. It's very similar to um, your foundation, just a touch darker. It's going to give you a natural contour. You're not going to have hooker eyes putting this all over the top of your lid. Okay. See the difference? It's brightening up the eye. And just like my foundation brush, I am just smooshing the crap out of it all over my face, all over the eye. Right, so that's done. And now what we've done by doing that is prepare the base, because this is called the best kept secret. I remember this one because it's my favorite. It matches my skin tone perfectly. We're going to go for the dark one, which is also a matte. No shimmery. This is super strong. It looks like purple, uh, like grape hubba bubba in color. It will not look like that on your face. Unless you want it to and you add lots of moisture to your brush and make it look more like a, a cream rather than the powder. But all I'm going to do, I'm just gonna grab a tapered brush. Oh, sorry. We're gonna get one of these brushes and it's a something something three two five seven four and it's eighty dollars no I'm kidding um, <laughs> this is just my shitty, shitty makeup brush and all I'm going to do is apply it to my brush tap off any excess because we don't want it too crazy and see that crease in my eye we're going to go from the end to there and that's it Halfway. That's all you want to do. You're just accentuating the depth of your eye so that someone can get lost in them. <laughs> now, nah, bitch, because you know it looks good. That's it. Okay. That's it. And then we do it on the other side because if you just did one, you'd look wonky. Now I want to listen to pink music. <laughs> oh, don't smile. You're trying to get this right. So see what I'm doing? It's just this little L shape. That's it. Oh, God. I'm staring into a bright light while doing this, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Thanks for watching. Okay, the next one we've got up is the sparkly one. And this has, uh, this is packed full of pigment. Again, don't use much of it. It's also probably the most warm tone um, in the whole kit. 
I'm used to wearing ashy neutrals, so more on the blue side. This is warm because it's from the warm palette. Um, where is it? Sorry if that was totally annoying. Okay. So all I'm going to do with this one is go from the center and sweep. It's so pretty. Again, if you added more moisture, it will come out even stronger. I'm using a very um, soft brush so that it disperses soft. It's like a diffusion. Diffusion. I'm going to build up that center because that's going to draw focus to the eye. It's looking like a party now. Okay, now to the other one. Remember, I'm not taking this all the way to the end. I'm taking it halfway to here. No more. But it's just soft, light little strokes. And then I build it more in the center. Just there. That's it. How simple is that? Then you'd put on your brow product, your eyeliner, um, mascara, do the whole thing. I'm just going to get my... Where is it? I like to have a clean spare brush. All right? And it's not for any job in particular. This one I think is actually designed to be a highlighter. But I use this to go over the whole of the lid and I just smoosh it in some more. It's going to soften any lines that have built up by accidental too much product or it just makes it softer. So imagine me now with banging lashes <laughs> and I've covered up those spots. I've diffused them more so than cover them up. Um, part of my new, oh, thanks Kylie and Kelly. Oh, hi Lisa. Um, it is super, super natural. Oh, my phone's going flat. It's super natural, soft, and it lets your skin shine through. Now, one of the things that I found really difficult to, um, uh, I, I guess, witness on my friends is, the ones who struggled with skincare issues, whether it's hormonal or it's uh, diet or genetics, or whatever it is, um, their way of dealing with the problem was to cover it up. Yes, they'd use the proper treatments and serums and things like that, but they would layer more product on and all your pores need is to breathe. Okay, so... Um, when you're looking at the Savvy Kit and you're watching the videos and you're like, mm, but I, you know, you haven't seen my pimples. You don't know what I'm dealing with. Get the kit. Message me. I will sit on the phone and do a one-on-one -on -one with you. I don't care. And I'll, sh I'll walk you through. We can put on the makeup together and we can talk about it. And I can give you tips for your face shape specifically, which I know helps a lot of people out. But... I also want to kind of give you a bit of a pep talk on how beautiful you are and how beautiful your skin is and could be if you just allowed it to be. Um, I didn't wear makeup for about 18 months when I was changing up my hormone routine. Um, I had lots of hormone issues that I had to sort out and um, getting rid of those xenoestrogens so anything that really touched my body that was going to affect my hormones, I kind of got rid of it. I shaved off all my hair. I was a bit radical about it. But 
I wanted to start from scratch. I wanted my natural hair. I wanted to learn to embrace my silver white hairs. And they're there. You can really see them in the daytime, but not so much at nighttime. Um, I wanted to embrace me. And instead of bleaching and covering up all the things that I thought were flaws. So let your skin breathe. Get the Savvy Kit, especially while it's on sale. 10% off, guys. You get it now. I think it works out to be 209 Australian dollars. So get your kit. 200 bucks does the whole thing. Um, I've had uh, my makeup done by um, the international head of makeup uh, for Dior. Um, Benefit Cosmetics and a range of other brands and I remember when I sat down in Dior I was completely gobsmacked and um, I had the person for the entire company doing my face I felt like such a princess and I bought everything that he recommended because I felt like I was being treated the way I wanted to be treated right so he lays out all the things it comes to $650 $650 and that was the basics that was the foundation the blush the eyeshadow and a mascara like it was very very basic for what I got but the price is so huge and I went you know what I'm worth it I want to look this amazing all the time and I felt like such a damn queen and he taught me some really awesome makeup tips which I'll be bringing in smaller videos on my Facebook page later but The thing that I took away from that is that I remember having no money, but I put it on my credit card because I believed it was something that I needed for my skin. And now, looking back, I think, damn, I could have bought like, I could have bought like three kits and shared them and gifted them to friends who really need it and couldn't see the light. So um, for 200 bucks, basically, 200 bucks and change, um you get everything you need for the foundations for your new skincare routine and your skin won't just thank you now it will thank you for years and years to come and also um you might find that because it's just a veil you'll start getting used to seeing yourself i know that sounds really weird because you're looking in the mirror all the time and you're like you see the flaws and you focus. I'm doing it right now. I can see the things that I'd like to fix. But when your makeup isn't an illusion and it's just a softening and a natural filter for your own face, you start to appreciate your face more. And then you stop covering up as much. Or maybe you just skip wearing makeup on weekends and you only wear it to work because you feel that's appropriate. You know? But... You love your hashtag makeup free face. So yes, that's my little little <laughs> spiel on the end of this video because it is important to me and I do recommend everyone try the Savvy Mineral Makeup line. Um, and if you haven't yet, come to my house. I'm in Richmond and I will do it for you. Um, or you can check out my videos on my Facebook page, Simple Botanicals. I also do stuff on Instagram also Simple Botanicals and shopsimplebotanicals.com has all the information you need on how to get a kit, what the rewards are and a huge bio on me because I have a big story to tell. So if you want to learn more about me and who I am as a person, go over to the website because there's a big, I like to write and talk, which is why you're on this video. And thank you for being on this video. I wish I had Jeremy here doing his DJ DJ thing because it could have been a real party. I didn't drink any, I had one sip of this wine. Um, I hope your Saturday is amazing and the rest of your weekend and I'll come back tomorrow with another video. Keep it simple guys.